everybody. Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I'm going to tell you a story about something that I like to do. I don't know if you like to do it. And I know that kitty cats and puppy dogs love to do it. But this book is called Nap the Cat Takes a Nap. Uh-oh. Nap the Cat Takes a Nap. Nat is a cat who's trying very hard to take a nap, but there's something that keeps interrupting him. I wonder what that someone is or who that someone is. We need to get inside this book and find out if Nat the cat ever gets to take a nap. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Nat the cat takes a nap. Written by Jarrett Lerner. Oh, shh. Looks like Nat the Cat's taking a nap. This is Nat. Uh oh. Nat is a cat. Oops. I think we might have woke him up. Nat the Cat is taking a nap. Um, no. Nat the cat was taking a nap. Oh, yep, we woke him up. Sorry, Nat. Now, Nat the cat is trying to take a nap. He's going to close his eyes again. Maybe we should be quiet. Nat the cat is trying to take a nap. Um, really? Says Nat, who doesn't understand why we keep interrupting his nap. Nat the cat is really trying to take a nap. Hmm. Now what's Nat going to do? All right. Zzz, zzz. Try again, Nat. Nat the cat is really taking a nap. Ah! Hooray for Nat! Oh, brother. Uh-oh. <laughs> Nat's getting frustrated with us. Nat the cat has called for his brother. Huh? This is Pat the Rat. Pat the Rat is the brother of Nat the Cat. Hi, Pat the Rat. Um, Pat the Rat is not my brother, says Nat the Cat. Get out of here, Pat, says Nat. Oh, my. Nat the Cat is mad at Pat the Rat. Ugh, I am not mad. Wow, he looks mad. Nat the cat is not mad. Um, he sure looks mad to me, says Pat the rat. Oh, grr! I think he's getting madder. <laughs> oh no, he's so tired now he's starting to cry. Is Nat the cat sad? I just want to take a nap. Please, just let me take a nap. He's tired and grumpy. A nap. A nap is a great idea, says Pat the Rat, who lays down to take a nap. Are you kidding me? Says Nat the Cat, who wanted to be the one to take a nap. Shh. Please be quiet, Nat the Cat. Pat the Rat is taking a nap. Hmm. Hmm. Poor Nat the cat. <gasps> now Nat the cat and Pat the rat are taking a nap. Shh. Yay! Finally Nat got to take a nap. And so did Pat the rat. Oh my, poor Nat. All he wanted to do was take a nap. But we kept talking. We were reading the book and we kept interrupting his nap. And then he got mad and then he got sad. And then Pat came along who was not his brother. And Pat took a nap. And Nat's like, oh, it's my turn to take a nap. And he finally laid down and took a nap. Because we got shh, quiet enough for him to take a nap. What a silly book. I like Nat the cat. He was funny. He got so grumpy. Do you get grumpy when you're tired? I know that I get grumpy when I get too tired. And sometimes I just have to take a nap. 
so I won't be grumpy anymore. You know what? When your mom tells you it's time to take a nap, you might want to say, okay, I'll take a nap. That way you won't get grumpy like Nat the cat. Think about that tomorrow. In fact, think about that tonight because it might not be time for a nap, but it's definitely time for you to get into bed. So I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. Remember, a really good night's sleep means you won't be grumpy tomorrow. And tomorrow, if you're at school or if you're at home and mom or dad or the teacher says, nap time. Remember, we want you to take a nap to keep you healthy and so you won't get grumpy. So when it's time for a nap, hmm, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy because I'm going to be sitting right here ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.